Usually it takes a lot of time and money to set up a router with more than one internet connection. But just a little bit of your time, you can put Speedify on something like that. The size of an apple, take it around with you, always be safe. Great failover and bonding. In the end, you'll get something that looks a little bit like this. Cute little UI with the same thing that you're familiar with on Android and iOS and Linux. And uh, it's not too hard to install. Going over to the terminal, which you should not be afraid to use, uh, SSH into your router at the gateway that's uh, usually 192.168.1.1, but it can vary a little bit. Sometimes for like GLINet routers, it'll be printed on the back of it. And other times, you know, for little like DIY banana pies and whatnot, sometimes it's just whatever you configured the device with, but it depends. In this case, I reconfigured it to 192.168.9.1, but your mileage may vary. Anyway, to get to a fresh system, just OPKG remove the Lucy app. Speedify and uh, Speedify. Give it a little bit of time and wait. And we're done. After everything's gone, and you can just go ahead and WGET HTTPS and get dot speedify.com. Now, this will save it as a file, which can be good for reference, but most of the time, you just want it to be quiet in its output and only output to standard out, and then run that through a shell. Uh, but just to be certain we're getting the right thing, this is what the script looks like. Always look over the source code before you run something from the internet. And, uh, well, that looks great to me. Now, we can just let this go. Uh, the installer will take care of a lot of nice things for you that you don't need to think about. Uh, for example, the architecture of the package. We have a bunch of different packages, some for MIPSL and some for ARM and some for 64-bit ARM devices and some for x86 and it just, who, who cares? Let the installer figure that out and pick the right one and all the other little things you need to wrap up. So this is what the output will look like after that script is finished up. It can take uh, more or less time depending on how big uh, your router is. These things don't have the most powerful CPUs in the world, but after we've gotten those taken care of. You should be able to log out and then log back in again. Uh, I set the password to vegetables. Oh, logging in and out, uh, it has this way of clearing all the whatever caches is being held onto. You should see Speedify up here. That's so nice. And it should be the same UI as you have on iOS and Android and all that other stuff I already told you about. Wow. I hope it helped. If you want more videos like this, subscribe to our channel.